Welcome back, you beautiful people. Mountain bikers are a pretty loud bunch of dudes and dudettes out there in the wilderness, screaming their heads off and having a great blast. And it comes across like they've got a, a different language, and they have. But we've previously done a video on a mountain bike dictionary. I'll put a, comment, a link in the description down below if you want to go and watch that. But here are a few common phrases that us mountain bikers like to use. All right, well, okay, before we head out there and make some noise, the most common phrase is, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to get notified every time we put a video out because we do a video every single day and they are full of knowledge, excitement, entertainment, inspirational, everything above. Don't forget. Right, now let's go and do some shredding, bra. <laughs> Yeah, check. <laughs> Is that new? Brand new, dude. Look at that. <sighs> Someone's doing well. Someone is doing really well. Spenny man. Got to look at it. Love it. Or bear rail on. Pinking lime green. Yeah. Spenny. Mountain bikers love upgrading their bike with some shiny new componentry or riding kit. Now quite often you'll hear the question, is that new? Or someone's doing well when a riding buddy turns up with a new bike or a new helmet or shiny new brakes on their bike or any other componentry on their rig. But quite often you hear this, is that new? On the trail when there's different riding spots popping up here, there and everywhere and also on an existing trail where there's a new obstacle, and that is followed up by, let's check that out. This one's chill, man. <laughs> well, it all depends on whoever says, this one is chill, because it could mean two different things. It could be, this one's chill, could be a blue flow trail with berms, rollers, super flowy, not so fast, or it could be, the other spectrum, where it could be flat out full speed, big step ups, big step downs, big berms, rough, rocky, steep. Just make sure you know which one is which before you get yourself into this one's chill. Not like that. Definitely not chill. Uh -uh. Right, now if you've just witnessed or heard that rap noise out there in the wilderness, there my friends, you've just heard and witnessed the schwap, followed by high fives, big cheering, screaming, fist bumps, and that phrase called, did you just schwap that berm? That is when a rider comes into a bank turn, just like this one, it's bitterly known as a berm, where the back tire on the rider hits it, it starts to deform, and that rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Oh, that's massive. Dude. Oh my gosh. Look at this dirt. Oh. It's what dreams are made of. Yes. Tell me, what people love good dirt? Well, you've got archaeologists, you've got farmers. Uh, the list isn't that big. Us mountain bikers, we love good dirt. Hero dirt. Dirt so tacky it makes our tires feel like Velcro. Whether it is loam, sand or clay. Each type of dirt has a moisture content sweet spot that makes our tires hook up so well we can rail turns all day. We love good dirt. <laughs> oh, that was sick! It's time for a beer! Come on! The best thing to hear after a big ride is time for a beer. Because in all honesty, going for a big long ride and rewarded with the beer at the end of it is why we go out riding. Be it if you like cider, IPA, stout, lager, or alcohol free. The call, time for a beer, is like music to any rider's ears. It's time for a beer, man! Oh, yeah, come in, dude, come in! So there we have it, a few common phrases that us mountain bikers love to use out there in the wilderness. That guy definitely shrubbed that turn, man. But my favorite is time for a cup of tea. Anyway, let us know in the comments down below. What is your favorite phrase to use out there in the wilderness? Do you want a cup of tea, Matt? Cup of tea. See ya.